Hello everyone and welcome back to Spyro. Oh god, I'm exhausted. Spyro the Dragon on the Sony PlayStation 1. I am one well sheep and today we're gonna enter Misty Bog, a fantastic, fantastic, surprisingly bright swamp level. And also my least favorite level in the entire game. <laughs> That's right folks, the level I was on about in laugh part constantly about me failing and hating. Well, actually, I didn't really mention that much about it. But anyway, this part we're gonna take on that level. And I can't wait to get into the nitty gritty of why I don't like it. But uh, for the stage, the stage overall isn't that bad in level. We got, first things first, we got these shrubberies that are gonna try and eat us. I, I, I'd hate to live in this world when plants will try and eat you actively, but. Um, basically what you want to do with them is just flame them whenever they start charging towards you. If you, they will leave you alone until you get too close, they're kind of territorial like that. So um, watch out for these guys and just continue moving on. Now these enemies by here are a bit of a menace in themselves. These are the kill frogs or tech frogs. I will find out the official name of them in a bit, I'm kind of hoping it's kill frog because Attack frog sounds pretty lame, <laughs> to be perfectly blunt. And I know this game was rated E for everyone, but this was before the rating system got a bit more strict. They have guns and grenades later on in this game. I'm not... I... that was awful. And no, I'm not even kidding. They do have guns and grenades later in this game. And machetes and... <laughs> ridiculous over-the-top equipment. It's mad. Again, I'm not got... I'm not going to go into detail about that again until whenever that, that's something relevant to talk about. But um, yeah, just continue moving onwards and the shrubbery, again, just flame them. They are easy enemies to take care of, they can be a bit of a menace. Your biggest tran- the biggest- the most likely you'll be of dying is from the kill frogs or attack frogs. I'm calling them a kill frogs, I don't give them what these are called. So um... Basically, what those frogs, if you get too close to them, they'll start to attack you with a tongue. They'll ninja whip you, if you will. Wapa. Now, wapa. <laughs> That's a friend's reference, if anyone's ever seen that. But, um, basically, they like to surround you a lot. And when they surround you, basically, you have literally no recovery time. So they can be a massive, massive pain to deal with. Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They are cold-blooded killers. Attack frogs? And this used to be such a nice swamp. Oh, it's attack frogs. Damn it, I was hoping it'd be kill frogs. Yeah, screw, I'm still gonna call them kill frogs. It's such a badass name. <laughs> anyway, uh, glide over to this small area. It's quite easy an area to miss, to be honest. The only real way you'll notice this, this area is from the the giant boar chasing the nork. Basically, just fly across here, dump tackle the nork, and then burn the boar. Bob's your uncle. And we're going to get introduced to a, something I like, a combo section. Basically, I call these combo sections because they basically line you a huge line of enemies. And what the game wants you to do is to basically charge through all these enemies in succession. And trust me, when you get one of those sections perfectly, it just makes you, it gives you that feeling of yes. It makes you feel badass. But I digress. Anyway, gliding across here, this is um where you're most likely to die, this area of this, of this game. Why? Well, those three attack frogs, or kill frogs, or whatever the hell they're called, they're not that big a deal, because there's just three of them. However, if you turn this corner, then uh, you might have a bit of a heart attack. Oh my god, yeah, there's an army waiting for you. So what you want to do is basically go really slowly and ignore the norks. What you want to do is sort of maneuver around the norks and uh, try and burn, well not burn, try and kill the attack frogs without getting in the range of the norks. Or you could be completely reckless, which I don't advise, and just charge through. Charging through will basically guarantee your death. But fortunately, I guess through the area just fine. And you might actually see me do a little rolling maneuver earlier on. Now it's, I think that move's only available in this game and it happens if you press L1 and R1. To be honest, the rolling is quite useless. I 
don't see any major reasons why you'd use it. Thanks for releasing me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. Oh no. Why? I remember. Uh, gotta go. Bye bye, Matt Damon. So um, <laughs> we're gonna continue onwards up here, and um, this this stage is actually quite a tricky one because you, I can see a lot of people having a lot of issues in terms of finding just where to go. Like as as with all the spiral levels up until this point, it's very linear. And the only spiral level I really would say isn't that linear would be the next one coming up. Oh god, that's gonna be fun. But uh, <laughs> basically, we're going to. Um, I lost my train of thought. Linear, linear. My TV just flickered. That's scary. Um, <laughs> basically, we want to go through here and follow that ferry to go down this hole, and um, basically. You're going to want to do a bit of a gliding section in a bit. Now this gliding section coming up, I can see a lot of people not knowing where exactly to go because it doesn't really highlight you a path on where to glide. You just have to really take initiative and go, hey, I wonder what's on top of this building. So, basically, first time playing through this game, I can see people having issues. But, for the most part, the stage isn't that big a deal. And also, if you you guys probably know this right now, but um, if you charge into certain enemies, if you keep on charging, you'll actually have a little homing capability, so gems you come out of the enemies will home in onto you. Thank you for releasing me. No problem. So yeah, if you keep on charging through enemies, um, it kind it'll kind of collecting the gems will kind of act like collecting rings in the boost to win Sonic games, like Sonic Generations or Sonic Unleashed, where the gems coming out of enemies will sort of gravitate towards you. It doesn't always work. I think the program is a bit finicky with it, but it's, an, it's still something I take note of. Something I take note of. And uh, for this segment by here, even though it's a big open field, you want to go a bit slow because you see those wild boars in the distance. Well, I say as I'm staring at a wall. I'll go through here anyway. It's very easy to miss these uh, gems. But the wild boars in the distance, when you get close enough, they'll start charging towards you. So, um, go, go through the section pretty slowly and uh, flame the balls whenever they go near to you. Don't charge the balls. I think the balls are the type of enemies that are invulnerable to charges. So if you charge the ball, you're gonna get hurt. You don't want to get hurt by that ball. It looks painful. Especially if you're in my situation right now and you don't have a dragonfly on you. I'll tell you what to do with those creatures. Smash them, Spyro! Stamp them out and squish them and squash them! <laughs> uh, huh. How about charge them and flame them? We are dragons, after all. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like the cut of his jib. But, um, anyway, what, we, what I'm gonna do by here is actually the safest way to take care of this guy is glide over the other enemies. So I don't have to deal with all three enemies at the same time. I can just deal with the ball, then go back, turn around, and just charge through the other norks that are just standing there like complete drips, waiting to die. But anyway, this is a section where I was on about where you can actually get lost, and you want to know why? Well, if you look up to the top of that building, there's gems. You know, there's, there's lots of chests up there. So you want to basically glide and head onto this broken wall, and climb up the broken wall to reach the top. I have seen so many people get lost in this section because they don't know why I'm missing like a hundred gems. What's going on? Yeah, you need to go up here, folks. But um, that's not all. You also need to, to glide across into the swamp, across to these here um, wooden stumps. Of course, you don't want to die, but it still happens occasionally. You can't help it if it happens, but it happens. But um, again, use the use the what I'm gonna now name. Use the the hoppity glide tactic I mentioned where you press the square button at the end of a glide because it's the only way I can really see you making it through the, making that glide because it is a very awkward glide to make and speaking of which I was actually failing quite miserably by <laughs> trying to get up to this I don't know what was going on with me that actually took me like five attempts to really get up here so I don't know I was having a bad day I think Everyone has those days where um, your recordings don't go well. That's one of the reasons why I do post commentaries, so those days I can just edit out. But anyway... 
Oh, 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 I love it. It makes me all tingly inside. <laughs> Is that normal? Probably not. But st seriously, I do love segments like that where they just line up enemies for you to kill. It just it gives it gives that awesome feeling of yeah, I'm a dragon. What of it? Mm-hmm. But um, that's that. That's that for this stage. Now we're done with the misty bog. Again, a very very annoying stage. Well, not annoying. A very easy to dying stage. And overall, it's not too bad. It's pretty bright as far as as far as um, what you call it, swamp levels are, you know, are concerned. But again, it's not too bad. It's a nice change aesthetically. But anyway, I'm where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Pass me. What am I doing? There we go. Now I'm going the right way. So now the next level we're going to is uh, the tree tops. The hardest level in the entire game. This is the hardest level in the entire game. If you, you can't do this one one goal, I can't see anyone doing this in one goal. So um, what you basically want to do is basically take out these guys first. Look, they're basically monkeys. The small ones will throw bananas at you, and while you're trying to charge the monkeys with bananas, what you're gonna you're gonna probably have a bit of an issue with. Um, charging into them as they're throwing the bananas. These guys are really obnoxious for when you're charging, you'll get clipped by the bananas. You don't want it to happen. You really don't. So, just uh, be careful, keep an eye out. And these guys by here, the big guys, you, you just don't worry too much about them. They're very easy to really deal with. All you really want to do is actually flame them when you get close to them, although they do have an exceptionally long range. Now, for the most part, the stage currently probably looks to you like it looks pretty mellow. What am I on about? Why is it so hard? <laughs> we haven't got to the supercharge ramps yet. That's right, folks. The supercharge ramps make a return in this level, and not only do they make a return, they make you do the stupidest jumps known to man in this stage. Also, the um, the egg thieves also return, and they're pretty much useless. They don't have any eggs in this stage. They only have gems. Greetings, Paro. For an amazing tour of the treetops, don't just stop at one supercharge. <sighs> so yeah, like he said, don't stop at one supercharge. You need to keep charging throughout the entire level. And not only that, we need to do some cryptic jumps that are like nearly impossible to make. At least your first time playing the game, I can't see anyone doing these jumps. But um, if there's two pathways we could have taken at the very start, and this pathway gives us the key that allows us to access the locked chest. Now the locked chest isn't really hidden, it's directly on the normal pathway of the stage, so it won't be long until we see that. Now um, I could have continued supercharging to kill these guys, but I really don't want to, I don't want to risk it. I have always ran straight off the edge when I'm supercharging. Not that it stops me here, mind you, I still end up shoot, dropping off the edge, but seriously, I... Uh, Supercharging is not only your best friend in this level, it's your worst nightmare. I can see so many people dying because they don't know the level design. So you learn the pathways before you actually supercharge through. And I just got destroyed by that enemy, I'm not going to lie. That that was insane. So yeah, the those monkey enemies, um, they can be exceptionally difficult to... To take on, I don't know. I don't know how I didn't die then, because I, I was except really, really lucky for me to fly back. But hey, Bob's your uncle. Now uh, these enemies, these chests by you, just break them and you should be fine. As you can say, we're basically on a giant open over a giant bottomless pit. That's the entire stage. So what you want to do by here is actually use the supercharger to break open the box, because otherwise you can't get into it. And really, you. you Chances are you're gonna fall at some point in this level, and there's the exit. If you're gonna go for a straight run through of the game, like I was tempted to do with this one level, uh, the exit's right there. So if you want to leave, you can leave right now. I don't advise doing that if you're going for 100% run, because obviously you need to do some stupid, stupid jumps. <laughs> and yeah, you have to see these stupid jumps I'm on about, because above this area by here, there's actually an area we need to chase the thief onto with a dragon. Now you need 
it's actually really, really difficult to reach this area because you need to go from a couple of supercharged jumps to make the jump up onto the top segment. You're going to see a bit later on because I can actually see around the point when I actually start cutting things out of the video and it won't be too long until we actually do start doing the supercharged jumps. Yeah, I, I did some editing. I, there's no possible way I could have done this on one through, run through. It's... I'm not that good at the game. <laughs> I know there's people that are good at the game and to, I'm... they props to them, but I'm not one of them. But anyway, if you want to go back to the very beginning of the level, you want to glide over here and you see that magical vortex that I'm running completely past? Well, that magical vortex will send you back to the very beginning of the stage, so take that and you'll be sent to the start. And where we're going to head on to in a second, as soon as past me figures out there's nothing... there we go. Because um, we've got another pathway to deal with. I don't know where I'm going. There we go. There's another pathway to deal with. And then, fortunately, I went to the second pathway first, so I already have the key that opens up the locked chest. So, fantastic. And I would advise most people to take that way first, just because it's... It gets you used to the idea of the level more so, because there's so many supercharged ramps you need to jump off, and overall it's a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. By the way, there's the lock cage, just open that up and you get quite a few gems. So those enemies that I mentioned previously that you have to chase, the egg thieves, well, like I said, they don't have eggs anymore. The eggs are basically thrown out of the question. We have all the eggs in the game, proving how useless they really are. Spyro, if you jump at the end of a supercharged ramp, you can really go far. I'm all over it. And under it, and to the left of it, and to the right of it as well. <laughs> Seriously, these supercharged ramps are so, so difficult to do right. But basically, you want to jump off the supercharged ramp and break through that chest. It's so easy to fail at breaking through the chest. And um, basically, while we're going, we're basically at a, quite at an area of the level we were at earlier. But what we want to do is actually charge up, and as you can see, we can't actually make the supercharged jump. So what do we do? Why can't we make it? Well, the answer's simple. We need to do a supercharge ramp onto a supercharge ramp to jump and reach the cliff side. And then we can get our, our egg thief that has 25, I believe, gems. And the rest of the chests are up on our platform as well. But yeah, it's so obnoxious an enemy. Uh, it's so obnoxious a jump to make, and that's not even the hardest jump. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You know why I didn't like this level that much? Just because this level is the one with the hardest jump in the game. I stated previous in a previous part that um, when we were taking on the, what I consider the second hardest, this level sports the hardest. So um, basically what we're doing now is we're going up to the jump pad ready to actually make our way down to the platforms we're meant to go to. So basically for this one by here we basically want to jump up here and I think I might actually fail this attempt. And uh, basically you need to jump from that speed boost platform into this one so we can glide all the way across. But unfortunately I died. <laughs> At least I think that's how we're meant to do it. No, 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 we're meant to do it from this point here. So I'm um, up. I don't know. What am I doing? <laughs> wow. Basically it's... It's basically a maze of supercharged ramps that you need to try and traverse, and trust me, it takes so much time to get right. I think this is, more, this is around the seventh try of me trying to do this. So basically what we're doing here is getting a supercharged ramp, jumping up here, then charging down here, and jumping all the way over here, and now we're above the exit of the level. Be careful you don't run off. Running off is not cool, bro. If you run off, chances are you're not coming back. But there's the egg thief. All well and done. You might be wondering, is that all there is to this level? No. No, 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 no. Because this wasn't a hard jump at all. This was the easy jump. <gasps> oh. I'm... I don't know... How to explain the hardest jump, basically. You you get no indication of where you're meant to go. With the supercharge ramps. So, for about a good 10-15 minutes, I ended up flailing to the left and right of the stage. Just like, trying to find where to go. Because there is literally no indication on where to go. It doesn't tell you anything, this game doesn't. So we're heading on back to um, one of the supercharged ramps so we can make do and try this again. 
So um, now we gotta move on back to the alternate route of the stage, because obviously there's two routes, and the one that went first is actually the alternate route. So we're going back here and getting ready to perform the trickiest jump I've ever done in all my life. And you're gonna see a very obvious jump cut because this is so difficult to get done. I, it took me well over 15 tries. But uh, basically, first thing we wanna do is jump onto this platform back here, then take a sharp right, then go down here, jump up here, take another sharp right, run up this boost platform, jump on here, and then at the very edge of this one, jump and glide, and you should be able to make it. Get the, do the dog doesn't like this stage either. It is a very, very difficult jump to make. It's too hard. That was quite a ride, Spyro. You've learned a lot since you were a young glider. Yeah, well, you could have found an easier spot to get stuck. See, Spyro agrees with me. That jump is ridiculous. <laughs> Doing this your first time through is the worst nightmare you could possibly have with this type of game. It's just stupid. In the distance, nowhere to find. I don't like this jump. <laughs> I don't like this level. Well, I'm so glad to be out of it. So now we're returning home, and with that, I'm going to call it part two. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, appreciate a like or comment to the video. Don't be sheepish, people. And when we return next time, we'll be taking on the next two levels and the final two levels of the Swab World. Thanks for watching. See you after. Bye.